Clive had warned me about the North Sea, so I thought it was prepared for just about anything. But the one thing I hadn't counted on were the jellyfish. By the time I reached the bottom, my face was burning with what felt like the stings of a dozen bumblebees. But then I saw what I knew was a submarine conning tower, and my thoughts went right back to U-21. It was easy to get beyond the jellyfish and just to marvel at those unmistakable twin periscopes pointing straight up at the surface, 152 feet or 46 meters overhead. My heart sank when I realized that the bow was completely torn off this submarine. But then I spotted the capstan, and I knew if the capstan was here, then there was a good chance that the forward diving planes were still in place. And sure enough, there was what remained of the horizontal rudders that helped guide these subs to either dive or ascend. There was no mistake. The shaft was there, and the broken body of the port diving plane. If you could look beyond the destruction, there were the two torpedo tubes. The port side still closed, and the starboard side open to the sea. Nothing about getting to this place or diving here had been easy. And I can't remember ever leaving bottom with such a heavy heart, wishing that I had more time to gather information.